Levi, it's me, and we're doing more polynomial division. Bet you're happy about it. Let's get started. Just to remind you, all polynomials operate in a base x machine, so you don't know what it, what's going on. All right, so first problem of the day. We got 2x cubed uh, plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. So here's that. And we're gonna divide that by x plus two. Okay, so just like we did last time, you look for the pattern in the bottom on the top and then you switch it out. But oh, what? Look at that. You can, there's only one pattern in the bottom. And so you could try to unexplode it, but that wouldn't work here because this is a base x machine. So you don't know the value you'd have to unexplode. So, but the nifty thing about this is that you can add any amount of dots to any of these boxes while keeping the value of each box the same. Let me show you. If I were to put in one dot like this, that would be adding one to the 2x squared box. But if I was to add in one antidote like that, that would subtract one. So these two right here would be zero. And since you need two more of these guys, you can just add two of these thingies in. Just add two of these guys. And so you found this problem and now you have these guys. So there you go, you have two of these, but what about all the rest? Well, you can do the same thing with the negative numbers that you can do with the positive ones. You can find the same pattern in the bottom. So. Here you go, right here. There's one of the problem. There's one of the patterns. So, and then you can do the same thing where you get one positive dot and one anti dot. Solve for this pattern. Boom, and boom. Every time you see the pattern on the bottom repeated in the top, you get to replace that with a dot. So, boom, just like that. Get out, just like that. Just like that. But, oh, what? Antidots? Well, no problem. Just get rid of those guys and replace them with an antidot because they're negatives. So, here you have it. This is the final answer. Just like that. The uh, 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 equals 2x squared minus 2x plus 1. All right, you thought that last one was tough? Well, get ready, boys and or girls, to buckle your seatbelts because we're about to get crazy. It's going to get crazy with this new example we're going to do. It's going to be crazy. Okay, restart this. All right, new problem, new day. Let's get started. Top is x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3 and that's being divided by x minus one. Got that? All right. So, let's do what we did before and find the, the pattern in the bottom and repeat it in the top. Oh, look at that. Oh no, there's more that we have to do. You can't find any more patterns. I bet you're thinking to yourself, oh, we could just do what we saw in that last video and get a, z a zero in there with the dot and anti-dot, and then we'd have a nice grouping. WRONG! You can't do that because it'll create more problems in the future. Look at this. You have four negatives here in the end. Four anti-dots right here. And so you'd have to put a bunch of these guys over in here, and it create more and more and more until, until it's just too many to count. So, let's try something different. You see how we're dividing it by x minus 1. Well, what's the opposite of that? What's the inverse? It'd be negative x plus 1. So, we could actually find that pattern in the top by creating this. See? 
So here you have the inverse pattern of that, or a negative one mark. I forgot to move this one, sorry about that. Uh, so you have this here, and why not finish what you started? Do that again, because you gotta get this guy. So there you go for that, and oh look at that, you can get even more inverses. The opportunities are infinite, not really. Uh, there's only three, as you can see. But, uh, here you have it. So, we have, we're gonna replace each of these patterns with a dot according to their value. So, right here, this is a positive pattern in the bottom. So we place that with one. But as you can see, this right here is the inverse pattern. So we replace that with an inverse dot, just like that. So it's a negative. Do that again, rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat with these guys right here. And it's done. We're done. We're good. We have x squared, or the answer to x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3 divided by x minus 1 is x squared minus 2x minus 3. That's how it's done. We're done now. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, what is this? It's my good friend, Goldfish. I bet you were expecting a celebrity cameo, but here it is. So, look at this guy. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been me yelling at you about dots for, like, I don't know how many minutes. It's Probably edit one. Editing is weird. Yeah. Anyway. I knew this. Anyway, goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you next video. I'm going to go get a snack. Everybody, this one.